Hi guys, so uh, now I'm going to show you how to enable the um, assisted driving view as you can see in the uh, middle part of the live cockpit view. So um, that's the assisted driving view. Some vehicles already have it activated but some don't. Um, so if you don't have that activated uh, then how you can activate that is you can do that through the Bimmer Code app. Um, so obviously you need to press the um, assisted driving button and then you'll get that view once it's uh, enabled uh, in through Bimmer code so once again um, you need to have the as you can see you need to have that um, OBD link MX plus adapter and once you connect that to the OBD of your vehicle then you can open the Bimmer code app uh, click on connect and once you get it connected um, so yeah, you choose your vehicle, whichever G, G series that you have, Geo 3, Geo 6, Geo 5. So I'm doing it on my Geo 5. I've already um, coded it. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys how you can do that. So yeah, once that's loaded, you need to go into the instrument cluster. So yeah. Once you're in there, um, you can change quite basic settings. To get the assisted driving view, you need to go into expert mode, you can see it there. So you click on expert mode. Uh, like I mentioned in my other videos, um, don't change any of the settings that you don't know. Um, because it will, you know, it will, it will make a big significant change of your car settings when you're driving around. Um, you'll realize that, you know, some things are switched off, some are on, or some, some, a lot of things have changed. So don't change any of the settings that you're not aware of when you're in the expert mode because it's quite dangerous for your vehicle. Only that, only change the things that you know. So anything that you've read, anything that you've watched. So yeah, so let's uh, get the assisted driving view activated. So what you need to do is click on the search section and um, if you type in UMG, uh, you should get the CBFZJ, that you see the one at the top, UMG Ebung FAS, so I'm, I'm reading it all out. Okay, so it's that one, so you click on that. You need to activate this, so you need to click on active. It will be nicht active. Um, so when you're first doing it, so you need to activate that one. The second thing you need to activate is, oh, come on, okay, the second one you need to activate is, if you type in pre-select, so once you type pre-select, you need to find the uh, Navi one, so it's pre-select Navi, I'm going to show it to you, pre-select Navi and select, so yeah, uh, you need to choose this one, which is um, pre-select Navi, that one, it's got these uh, German words. Uh, you can pause the video to obviously find it, so I'll... You need to activate this as well, so it'll be on not active, so you need to put it on active. Um, so I'll go back, I'll just show you, so it's this one, um, you need to enable that one as well. And you need to also enable... Um, so if you type in, uh, let me try the PIA, PIA underscore F Z, is that one, no, let's try F Z G, I think this one's only, was it the only F Z, F Z G Umberg, it ends with F A S, yeah, so you need to um, enable this one as well, F Z G Umberg underscore FAS so that one will be not active as well if, if it's already active then leave it as it is because most of them will be not active so you need to activate this one as well so pause the video once you're doing it step by step and also in some vehicles you can activate this one as well um, some might be active some might not not be active uh, underscore yeah so it says Sicht Absicht Enable uh, all these words in German. So this one, this one might be not active as well. So you need to activate this as well. So once you activate all of this, you will obviously, you, obviously you press code. So I, I, it won't let me press it now because I've already coded it. You will get automatically. You will get the um, assisted driving view once it's coded. And obviously you press the assisted driving view button. Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. You need to go into settings to enable this. Um, so you need to click on, you need to go into settings and then it's uh, display and then it's instrument cluster and then you need to enable 
display assisted driving view when driver assistance uh, is active so you need to tick that box once you've ticked that box um, and obviously you activate the assisted driving button you will get the assisted driving view